Hey guys, this is Undercover Dude Zoro right from Down Under with another episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 198. Make sure to go and smash that like button and let's get right into the number 5 spot. And that's Zen on Red Canyon Elimination Pro with a really cheeky setup. Now have a look, on the alpha side, the enemies, they are camping in their own base tons of mines, all their sniper rifles aimed at the stairs. But with his teammates, got this really cheeky boost. He's gonna jump and he barely makes it with the help of a little bit of necks and lag. Pull out the SG-50 now. He sees the backpack of the enemy, gonna chuck a nade to take that person out. With the SG-50, takes out another and now rushes in. G36 in hand. The enemy's got no idea. The multi and the ultra rushing towards the stairs to take out the last person. Tapping away. See that mine? They were really prepared but that massive flank completely put a spanner in their work. Works. Securing the number 4 spot, we have got Cheerless Edits on Junkflow Quarantine Region in a 1v9 scenario. Now he's got 20 seconds on the clock, he could just try to run it out, but he's gonna go for the kills with all of his explosives. Dropping it on the ground, he gets the multi and the ultra. Now dropping a nade, setting it all up, what's he gonna go and get? He gets an unbelievable. Now drops a mine, reloads the RPG, trying to go and keep the accolade alive, he's only got a few seconds left, he gets an unbelievable plus, he swipes away and he gets another unbelievable plus, and that was a very clean run. This week's bonus spot is very, very unique. It comes from Buggle CA on Junkfleet using an LNA6A1 Black Magnum. Now he says, lol, I wreck hackers in chat, and that's exactly what he's gonna do, because he hits that guy with a massive, massive no-scope. That hacker's just flying up in the sky, hits him with a no-scope. He gets a double kill as well, trying to keep the accolade alive. Sadly, it doesn't, but regardless, that no-scope was mm, bellissimo. Now getting right into the number 3 spot, we've got XX Nightmare, a veteran of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, and today he's going to go and show you guys why. Now he's on Junk Fleet, one man army, using the LNA6A1 Super Magnum and the LNA6A1 Arctic Wolf Visionary. Now he's getting his accolades, just build up a little bit, trying to go and get some momentum. He gets the Ultra Kill, he's trying for the Fantastic, and of course he goes and hits it. But look what he gets for the Unbelievable, Beast Mode activated, the Collateral for the Unbelievable Plus, he hits a great no scope as well, and and now he's just going insane. Another quick scope, and he's just gonna keep going and going and going. A no scope this time, goes for that shot, doesn't hit it, but it does not matter. He gets it on the second time, he gets a headshot there as well. Oh my god, this insane accolade keeps going, but now he's run out of ammo. Just slapping, slapping away, slicing away, I mean, with the tracker knife, trying to get a few more kills. He gets two, sees another Arctic Wolf, goes and picks it up off the ground, but doesn't go and get another kill. There's just way too many enemies, and that was a plus nine, I believe, just Go, just went off the rails with that clip. Now coming in at the number two spot, we have got Gerv on Piazza s &D using the M4A1. Now at the moment, it is a 7v7. Gerv is an absolute beast on the North American server. And he's definitely, definitely a player that you want on your team, not the opposing team. Because it seems like every time you go around a corner, you are just toast with his laser-like accuracy. Now he's just peeking some corners, trying to go and see if he can do a little bit of damage. But across the other side of the map, his teammates are getting taken out one by one. And as always, it's going to come down to a 1v5 scenario. But also, he's got to go and worry about any bomb planting that may happen, probably at the A site. Checks is behind, no enemies there. But guess what? One person coming through spawn, and he goes and takes him out. Now watching Wine Cellar, but he's got to go and check his flank. An enemy goes for a bit of a B-hop, and it completely fails. Gerv going and taking him out. Reloading that M4, holds the corner perfectly, and takes out the third enemy for this clutch. Now down to a 1v2 scenario. But of course, that bomb is going to be planted at the A site. And the A site is particularly hard to go and retake, simply because there's so many corners that enemies can go and hide in. It's extremely easy in a 1v2 scenario for the enemies just to go and peek at the exact same time at completely opposing angles and pull off a really nice crossfire. With the M4 in hand, Gerv's just checking all the conventional corners. He jumps out, shoots the enemy in the head, and now he sees the second one. He knows it's in the spawn. The enemy gets greedy. Gerv holds his line of sight and takes another enemy to the grave for the final double kill to finish off the 1v5 clutch. And of course, he has enough time to go and pull off the defuse as well. What a really, really nice 1v5 clutch. Now coming in at the number one spot, we have got Zephyr IMCA on Greyhammer Search and Destroy using the LNA6A1 Arctic Wolf. In a 4v8 scenario, his teammates, they're, you know, a little bit non-existent in this clip. It's basically him versus the world to try to go and win the game. Now the L9 gets a very nice early pick and he knows that enemy is holding that corner right there. A really easy shot, but he pulls out, gets a drag scope, and now he's very easily going to go take it the second person because he's boxed him into the corner again. What is this? It's 
absolutely insane. Waiting for his teammates to go and back him up. He's checking all the corners again. But guess what? An enemy jumps out out of nowhere and he goes and gets a great, great quick scope. What, what is these kills? You can't go and predict them, but have a look, look at the rest of the clip. You won't be able to predict the rest. He gets another kill. That person, I, I didn't even see that person, but guess what? Zephyrion, he's got the eye on the prize. The M67 frag plays perfectly right to the spawn, and now with a really, really nice bomb plant. Nice and out in the open, some really big lines of sight in the train yard, but you can also go and get surprised when a very unconventional route comes out from the enemies, and you can get taken out really easy in close range. Now using that pole as a little bit of cover, maybe could block a bullet or two, could be the difference between losing and winning the round. Now just checking the conventional ways that enemies would go and enter. The hole in the wall possibly, doesn't seem like any enemies will be going through that. However, the container linking the warehouse to the train yard, that's a possibility. Holding the line aside, takes out the enemy. Now down to the 1v1. Where's the last enemy? Over to the right hand side. He gets the double kill, pulls out the ace, the 1v1 clutch. What a perfect clip. Everything seems so flawless, so, so easy for him to go and do. But with perfect positioning in a lot of mine games, along with some great shots and a lot of really, really good skill. Overall, I can say that was definitely one of my most favorite clips in a very long time, simply because it had everything. It had absolutely everything. You had that clutch at the end. You had those flick shots. You had that nice prediction. You had that guy jumping in midair. You had a little bit of everything. And I, I like, you know, my buffets of combat arms clips, and this served up everything to the nine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this top five plays episode. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under, out.